It's kind of a long story, but I was involved in welding as a, as a kid and learned from my, my grandfather and my father, but I was professionally involved in the auto body industry. And then uh, when that career kind of ended, I went back to school and I actually came here to Shasta College and went through this entire program myself as a student and was lucky enough to, after leaving and kind of learning more about welding, I was able to come back and start teaching here. So how I got started in manufacturing was actually uh, working here at the college. Uh, I got the opportunity to work within uh, what's called the deputy sector navigator position, which was um, facilitating advanced manufacturing curriculum throughout the North State with local uh, educators and with local businesses. Uh, prior to that, I spent about 13 years in the construction industry. So currently we have one certificate, which is the CNC operator certificate, but with this new facility, we're gonna be able to offer a full uh, AS degree uh, that's gonna include CNC programming and then also a manual machining certificate, which hopefully will incorporate the NIMS uh, curriculum as well. Well, the first step is, is obviously you, you know, if you don't have someone that you can learn from that's close to you, is a class is obviously the next step. And to not be afraid to think that you have to have some previous, previous experience to take a class, you can come in as a blank slate. And, and in a lot of cases, that's the best way to do it so that we're not having to unlearn some bad habits and you can build a good foundation for your success. At, at Shasta College, you know, a lot of people think of college as this kind of scary environment where you're, you're really rigidly held to, um, you know, taking notes and homework and all that stuff. And I'm not saying we don't have homework and we don't expect excellence from our students, but it's a lot of people don't realize is that welding and manufacturing is fun. It's a good time. And we as instructors, I don't like to come to work and ha not have a good time. So I'm constantly looking for ways to engage students. All of our instructors are here to have a good time and share this passion that we have that is welding. And you might be thinking, well, I don't really know if I want a welding career or a career in manufacturing. These skills are transferable, not just to a professional level, but on a personal level. It's gonna teach you problem solving. And there's, there is a plethora of uses for welding skills in a non-professional environment. I can't imagine, I use welding on a personal level to repair things around my house on a weekly basis. And if I didn't have this skill, I'd be spending a lot of money replacing things that I can now fix myself. So it is, it is very useful skill, not just professionally, but also personally. Well, when you think about welding and manufacturing, we're not talking a million dollar industry or billion, it's like a trillion dollar industry. So for me to cover what kind of opportunities this can open up, I, I don't think we have that kind of time to do it. But if you're talking about here locally and in the region, you know, there's a lot of entry level positions for welding and fabrication and manufacturing that can lead to a lot of different branches, maybe, uh, you know, inspection, design, um, a lot of, you know, more of supervised advisory roles um, that can lead to a lot of different opportunities here locally. So what experience do people need to come into the program? They need absolutely no experience. So we'll take somebody that has never touched one of these tools before, uh, teach them how to safely operate these tools and all the base skills that go along with that. There's a lot of opportunities here in the North State for uh, individuals with these type of certifications. Uh, you know, we have individuals that are getting welding degrees and these uh, CNC operator certificate. They're going to work at places like Sierra Pacific Industries, Kanoff Insulation, some of our larger manufacturers that need these types of skill sets. There's a lot that are going to work at mom and pop shops as well that are doing uh, really interesting stuff for aerospace industry, uh, working just uh, producing parts for local manufacturers as well. So there's a lot of, of need here in the North State for this type of, of uh, career.
So if you're interested in coming to school here at Shasta College for one of these degrees or certificates, it's an excellent opportunity to get hands-on with industry certifications and industry equipment. Uh, nothing in this shop is a training aid. It's all stuff that you're going to find in industry and be able to get hands-on experience to really benefit you out in industry uh, in your future career. It's also just a great place to come and learn new skill sets. Uh, a lot of these skill sets will take you through life and be able to offer you skills far and outside of manufacturing, uh, just life skills skills in general, uh, learning how to read a tape measure and that sort of thing effectively, cut material, that sort of thing. Uh, so a lot of students come into this program and they really find a passion and a love for working with their hands uh, and really enjoy this type of curriculum. One of the other topics that we talk about in the CNC Operator Certificate is additive manufacturing or better known as 3D printing. So additive manufacturing allows us the opportunity to prototype parts and get a feel for how things fit together and operate together. Um, and before we go and spend the money to create a program and to make it on one of those CPs of CNC equipment. Uh, these is called rapid prototyping back in the day. Uh, it's nothing really rapid about it, um, but it allows us the opportunity to cheaply and effectively make prototype parts for our, our uh, business. So over here, this uh, facility was built this summer, just completed this summer. This is our first class that we're holding in here for the fall semester. We have our CNC area with some room to expand. We have our Haas systems. Uh, we're using nothing but Haas systems in here just because that's what our local industry is using. Uh, so we have a Haas VF1, an ST10 lathe, and a CM1 mill. And we have some future areas for some additional CNC equipment in here as well. In our course, we teach a CNC operator certificate, which gives you a little bit of understanding about how the CNC equipment works, and then also a fundamental understanding of how manual machining works. So we offer an introduction to manual machining as well, which focuses on the engine lathe and the Bridgeport mill here. In that class, you develop some hands-on skills like learning to read precision measurement tools, learning to do layout, and then obviously operating the equipment as well. So in the CNC Operator Certificate, one of the skills that we focus on is learning to write and read G-code. G-code is this programming language that the computer knows how to manipulate the parts and manipulate the equipment inside. So it does things like tells us how fast to move, which directions to move, and which type of operations to turn on and off. So this is a G-code right here. We can see uh, that there's multiple lines of code. A G-code can range anywhere from 20 to 30 lines up to 100,000 plus lines. Um, we teach the students how to understand that, and they also get the opportunity to write and read, or write some of their own G-code uh, to make this machine operate by itself.